Good morning everybody. We've got breakfast in bed. It looks absolutely, oh my god, delicious. It's so good. So it looks I had this so, the other day so good. Oh, it's got like brown sugar all over it. Yum. There's a lot of porridge though. Like there's a lot in there. I struggle to Good. We love to hear that. really vlogged much today actually I don't really know if I vlogged anything um, so this morning I went to Soul Cycle. I did a Soul Cycle class and then I came back got changed and Imogen and I went and did a little bit of shopping oh lovely oh no chips um, who do I think I am so American chips so yes yeah, so we've just come to the road I need to show everyone what I got thank you so much what are you from? Weird if I get out at London right now London yeah yeah Missed in Los Angeles. Yes. Like yes. Nice. Thank you. We're glad the sun's out today because yes. it hasn't been the entire time we've been here. Oh. But <laughs> today is perfect. Yeah, yeah. gorgeous. Thank you. Both of you are extremely beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I was wondering if you like modeling or I don't know. <laughs> Relatable. Thank you so much. Yeah, so we did some shopping. I will show you what I got. Can I show them now? No, it's a bit weird at the table. Um, I'll show you once I get back in, but we've got some shoes, I've got a jacket, oh I've got this really cute little score. And now we're just out at the Grove, which is so cute, I'll show you what it looks like. It hasn't like got too much of the Grove, but I just love it, like it's just such a vibe. There's a massive Nordstrom, um, a massive Apple store, and they have like, a few other little shops. Um, but it also has a cheesecake factory, and it has a cinema here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. They used to have a massive top shop, and it was the best top shop. But obviously top shop shut down. Can we actually talk about that? The fact the top shop doesn't exist anymore. I've literally said this for so long. Like, like it was shop the so best annoying. shop. Like I know it, it literally was the best now. shop. But like in terms of jeans, you knew you were going to get uh, something for you. Oh my god, do you remember is it Johnny jeans? Yeah, Joni. 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 <laughs> <laughs> do you remember Joni jeans? Yeah, anyway, so we're now out for lunch. We're just at a Mexican. We just ordered cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> and not like cheddar I love halloumi so but I kind of want cheddar but it does look delicious I got um, beef and chicken and I got my wraps in here and then in the drink got some tacos oh my god I just keep hitting myself on the hot pan it's really 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 sending me the food is delicious I just feel myself eating but it's too hot I need to give myself a break look at that pretty girly Um, I ordered an ice cream and look what I got. Wow. Okay, so I wanted to show you some bits I ended up buying from shopping today. I'm gonna burp, sorry. Nice. I got some really cute bits, not gonna lie. Nothing is giving weather appropriate. It's giving kind of UK weather. However, I love the pieces that, well, and maybe just this jacket to be fair, but this jacket I'm obsessed with. It's pretty much the jacket they actually wore out here. It's from Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters at the moment is so good. Like I feel like it went through a really weird stage, but now it's it's giving all the vibes again. So I got this jacket. But like you actually can't even see how nice it is on the camera, but I genuinely love it so much. I think it is so cool. In fact, I really want to wear that ASAP. And then Imogen picked this up the second we went into the store and was like, oh my God, this is so you. And I feel like it literally is so me. I bought it in both colors. So it's this little score how cute no i'm actually obsessed like it is so sweet i mean it's giving like tennis kind of looks like a tennis skirt in a way but i just love it i think it's really cute as you guys know i absolutely love the color red yeah and i just love the fact that like it has a little pocket on the back as well i don't know if you can see that there so i got it in the red and then i also got it in this baby blue color which i love I actually don't know which one I love more. I feel like this one might actually look cuter on. Yeah, they're the bits I got from Urban. And then some shoes that I picked up. I'm so excited about this because I've been saying to Imogen, I just don't know what shoes I like wearing anymore. Like genuinely, I'm so over dunks. Like I'm just so over them, like wearing them myself. I don't know. I just don't know what I like wearing. But at the same time, they're like the only things I feel like I can style my clothes with. Like I love my Travis Scott dunks. I love like my, I don't know. I just, yeah. I just don't know what shoes I like wearing. Like, I love Adidas Gazelles. I just really struggle to, like, wear them with certain clothes. Like, I think that's what I'm struggling with is, like, I like a lot of shoes. I just struggle to wear things with them and it not look strange. And I feel like dunks are one 
like type of shoe that you can wear with anything. So I love wearing them for that reason. But I kind of feel like I'm over them now. So I wanted to try something new and I saw these and I honestly fell in love with them. I think they are so cool. I couldn't even tell you what they are. P6000, I don't know if that's the name of them or not. So yeah, picked up these shoes. Let me know what you guys think. Again, I feel like, are these gonna look really weird with jeans? Probably. So that's probably why I'm gonna really struggle to wear them along with every other shoe, I don't know. But I am excited about them. I'm excited that I found a pair of shoes that I actually like because that is very, very rare nowadays. Finally, the last thing that I got, these boots from Steve Madden. I've said this once, I will say it again. Steve Madden's boots are the absolute best boots you will ever get. I literally swear by it. Their quality is insane, but they always sell out. Like they literally always, always sell out. And I know I shouldn't even say this on here because they're probably going to sell out even faster. I can never, ever get my hands on them. How nice are these boots? I love them. They had them in a white as well. My white boots that I think I spoke about this in another vlog, so I don't want to talk about it again, but my favorite white boots that I now absolutely destroyed are from Steve Madden. And I tried to rebuy them off of like other sites for like more money like a resale price because they were my favorite boots ever can't get my hands on them and they do actually do this boot in a like a creamier white color they didn't have my size so i'm going to try and get my hands on them and then i also did get some other boots from steve madden however didn't have my size in stock so they've actually ordered it to the hotel so i should be receiving that any day now but yeah i also picked up these boots so that is the things that i got when we went out shopping very 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 happy with my purchases actually Slay the game. to the vlog <laughs> Just catching up with Mumsy, who wants to catch a flight over. Oh, she's off. We're literally watching her. Oh, I love the flares, Mum. They're not flares. It's just like wide-legged. No, they're not. Saffron. Huh? They're not flares. They are. They're, they're cute. Just like wide I mean, they actually are. They are little bit kickflares, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're really cute. Like little kickflares. They look like cute on you. They look like you should be from like Nashville or something. Oh, you know me, I'm so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Um, it is. Bloody thunder size up. Sat like a 12-year-old. No, I can't put that in. Shut up. Good morning, everyone. It is another day. We've had a very lazy morning today, haven't we? A very... <laughs> I want to film Imogen, but at her request, I'm not allowed to. So, um... <laughs> she keeps pulling these like ratty faces at it's me, right? which makes me want to film. Oh my god, you bully me. You just call me a rat. <laughs> <laughs> She's done that. No, because I can't even include that because people will actually think I'm me. No, I'm now including you. Do that. <laughs> she was joking, by the way, because then behind the camera, she's going, Speak. No, <laughs> you can't. She's going to. My dignity. <laughs> but anyways, Imogen you just keeps flashing. I, <laughs> I, <need to, laughs> I, I need to go. Right, so I've been on FaceTime to my mum and like love catching up with my parents. But you know when they just don't get off the phone. I'm like, Mum, I really, really need to I need to go now, I need to go to How a do session. You really do that, don't um, they? Like you say bye six times and they just don't. Go. Yeah, I know, it's so cute. But to be fair, I do that to people, but only when I'm in the car. I feel like I don't let people yeah, leave when I'm do. in the car because I have apps I just find it so boring. But anyways, I do actually really need to get on with my day. I don't know where I'm oh my god, oh my god, I'm now sat in the sofa. Oh <gasps> my bum hurts. Do you know why it hurts so much? Soul cycle. Oh, it like really, really hurts. But we had such a lazy... Oh, I've just been invited to the BAFTAs. That's cool. Excuse me, is that not like really freaking cool? <laughs> I just been invited to the BAFTAs. Hey! Uh, oh, I bet I'm in LA. Yeah, I was gonna say. I bet you I'm in LA. I might have to fly back. Oh, you're in LA. No, I'm... Well, oh. I am. When is it? It's the 12th of May and my thing starts on the 13th. I can't really do it. Oh my God, no, 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 no. I guess it's more important for me to work on myself getting to the BAFTAs and going to the BAFTAs. Oh, that's actually so sad. Okay, well maybe, I don't know, maybe there's a way I can do both, I'm not sure. I don't know, I've been looking at apartments all morning, guys, to come to LA, which I need to speak to you guys about, which I will at some point. I'm actually off to a meeting now, which I'm gonna go to. Imogen's gonna stay here, chill on the pool. I think we're gonna have like a lazier day today. Yeah, really, we're just gonna spend, around the, pool, spend the day around the pool, aren't we? And what? Yeah, I'm doing lots of editing. We're just doing editing. We need to work on our business together. Is there anything else we can do for that at the moment? <laughs> Yeah, we've just got like little bits and bobs that we need to do. But tonight, I think we're actually going to go on a night. Well, we might go on a night out. It's actually really weird. Yeah. Like, we're both not. We're not like kind of 
like craving it, but I think like it's, I don't know, we just kind of maybe take it as it comes. Like if we end up going out having a good time, then we want to go out. But because we've been so jet lagged, we've been so tired. Yeah, that's it. Like we're just so tired every day. Yesterday was the first, well, like last night, because I went to bed later than I have done the entire time. I got up a bit later. I still though woke up at 3 a.m. thinking it was genuinely like 9 a.m. in the morning. And, like I woke up with like a panic. It was so strange. So I'm still definitely very jet lagged. Also as well, I don't really know what it is because like I am, I love partying, but I feel like honestly recently just haven't had like the urge or like the desire to like go out and go clubbing. But for some reason, because I'm in LA, I feel like I should. I didn't want to like really say it to Imogen because I thought like, you know, if she wants to, I don't like want to put it down on it. And then I realised Imogen's feeling the exact same. So it's really good. Like, we're both, like, on the same wavelength. I mean, we might end up going out after we've gone for dinner tonight. Because dinner's quite late. We're going at half eight. Um, I need to actually get ready and go to my meeting ASAP. Because it's actually quite far. But the sun is shining. Very happy. I actually still just can't believe I've just been invited to the BAFTAs. Like, can we actually just... I've just been invited to the BAFTAs. How cool is that? By BAFTA themselves. By BAFTA themselves. By BAFTA. <laughs> like, I've been to the BAFTAs actually once before. But I wasn't invited by the BAFTAs. Like, that is very cool. Look at it. I mean, aside from the building works, look at it. Look at it, look at it, wow. There's not a single cloud in the sky this morning. Opposite our uh, hotel, we have this shop called Pink Dot, and it honestly has like all of the British snacks. It has everything. It has Kylie Jenner's sprinters, like you know her vodka mixer. And I'm so excited to try it. Imogen and I are gonna go and get them tonight and give them a taste test. So we'll definitely try them for the vlog. But this is the shop. Honestly have everything. I'm gonna come and get an energy drink and some water because I hate the water that we've got in our room. I hate this, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like it, like this whole like pH stuff. I know it's really great for us, but I just don't like it at all. I'm good with Evian or Smart Water. That's what I enjoy drinking. So I'm gonna get one of these before my meeting. Grab myself an energy drink of some choice. I also really wanna try this just because I keep seeing Kylie Jenner drink them. So I don't know, maybe I could also do a taste test for this. Also, another thing I absolutely love, which I don't know why we don't have them in the UK, is Celsius. Like, Celsius is so good. They're honestly delicious. And they're actually, like, pretty good for you. Like, this one is the one I've had the most. They actually do this in my hotel room, so I've been having it every morning. And it's actually so, so yummy. Yeah, guys, look. Look at the Sprinter. I mean, I've actually heard that it's not very good, so I will give an honest taste test. I heard that apparently peach is actually the only good one, so I will let you know what I think of it. But um, yeah, we're gonna buy a box of these tonight, see what these are like. We're actually going out tonight, which is exciting. Guys, it's so bad, I know I'm on holiday, but since I've been here, I've had two of these to myself. I'm not joking. Oh, I've just zoomed in. How have I done that? These are my favorite cookies in the world. If you come to America, I beg you, try them you will never ever try anything like it like i can guarantee you they will be the best cookies you've ever tried right i'm currently just waiting for my uber and i got my snacks and bits from the shop oh my god i should take imogen to look out the window she did this yesterday you can literally see our room from up here but imogen actually she probably is by the pool right now i can't actually wait to just have a day by the pool and just be in the sun because yesterday when we were walking around when we were shopping we ended up getting like such a tan on us like genuinely i actually have tan lines which is crazy the uv is so high the uv was at nine yesterday which is mad because when i was in dubai recently the hottest it got to i think was like six the uv was so it's actually crazy um i feel like this actually could be my uber this is my uber just come back to the room and I've got changed into my bikini I was gonna wear this like little blue gingham bikini and then realize Imogen is literally wearing the exact one so I'm wearing it in red instead this red one isn't exactly the same but it's still very similar and we're gonna go chill around the pool and I'm so excited to go around the pool I can't even tell you like oh we haven't had well the sun was obviously out yesterday but we just wasn't expecting it so we haven't had like a day just to cheer around the pool yet so I'm actually so excited especially because like half the clothes I brought with me are like summer clothes honestly um so I actually can't wait so yeah gonna do that work by the sun it's gonna be so nice although saying that actually I didn't bring any flip-flops or sliders which means I'm gonna have to wear trainers down which is kind of annoying oh I've definitely done that too tight I think but oh my god I can't wait how cute is this dress by the way this backless sorry there's literally nowhere for me to put the camera in this hotel room that's the one thing and here we are Chilling in the sun. 
the life. I've only got 40 minutes of this UV. Imogen's been telling me, so I've got my factor 30 on. And I am trying to catch my rays. Well, I shouldn't really get my face in the sun because of um, my tretinoin. I have got on factor 50, but even so, it still really worries me about burning my face. But this is just, oh, it's just the life. Um, Imogen just got, where's your smoothie? It's got cinnamon in it. Oh, oh no way, acai and cinnamon. Yeah, oh my god, that's insane. That's absolute. Oh my god, that is so nice. Mm. Right, we've just got food around the pool. I've got a breakfast burrito, which you know, quite a normal thing, even though it's the middle of the day. Imogen's, oh, thank you so much, thank you. Imogen's choice is actually hilarious. She's got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and then she's also got some cauliflower. Like, which one are you I having first? <laughs> you do you, boo. That's so funny though. I'm sorry, I'm actually handling your thing, but that's like proper jam, isn't it? Yeah, they do jam so much better over here. Oh my God, I don't even think I need to tell you how good this is, because I think you can see. This is to die for. That is absolutely incredible. Also, just look at this. This is their life. I hate cauliflower. I keep telling you this, my worst food. It's my worst food. Right, sun is now behind the back of our hotel. What? <laughs> Babe, I'm catching you in the natural habitat. You can't help me from that. So, to update everyone, we are going to the shop over the road to go and get some fruity drinks that I showed you this morning. I really want to try that glow stuff as well. That lunch, by the way, I feel a bit sick. Like, I actually ate all of that. It was huge, and I ate the entire thing. And, like, I didn't even let myself breathe. So, yeah, I'm really full. Like, I don't know how I'm going to get into a dress tonight. But also, I want to try and see if I can get a blow dry. Although, last time I went to go get a blow dry at this dry bar, they were so rude to me, like so rude to me. So let's see how this goes. Good afternoon, late afternoon. Check <laughs> <laughs> your mix off of me. Um, it was just being so annoying. <laughs> Right, right so, this second, please go to my vlog and then watch this one. She is promoting herself again. Oh no, can we not actually say that? Because we're going to get clout chased up. <laughs> As if. No, you're not. Everyone loves you. <laughs> Oh yeah, from what we discovered the other day. I think they've got their resume. Babe, um, I think the people in your videos don't like me, so it's okay. It's okay, we can't be loved by everyone. I'm chatting so much rubbish. Right. Basically, what I was saying though, is I was literally just vlogging and Saffron was being annoying. So for a starter, I'm not the annoying one. This one is. Now you've said that, I reckon everyone believes you. <laughs> Anyways, we are a little bit delirious. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> Not looking my best self either. We are going. Can you be in this, please? I don't know what to say. My head, like all day, I've been trying to vlog, and all day I haven't been able to because I keep just like overthinking everything I'm saying. I don't know why. Like, why am I like this today? I think to be fair, do you know what it is? Is because you know when we vlog on like TikTok and stuff, we've got to be so short and snappy. Mm -hmm. Then going to your YouTube camera, you think, oh, can talk talk for Britain. Do you know and what I mean? You just, just do. talk crap. Yeah. The amount of rubbish that comes out my mouth. That's my thing. Well, not actual crap. Like not like made up stuff, but I mean I just don't stop talking. <laughs> Anyways, so we are getting ready to go out for dinner. We're getting ready a little bit earlier than usual. I'm gonna use my root spray. This is the best thing ever. I've like, just used ever. the uh, Dream Cutter, and this is oh my god, this is my favorite product ever. But tomorrow I'll have another favorite um, product. Is that mine? No, this one. Oh, mine. It's the same one. Yeah. So you know you went to use them both together. Why? But you're meant to use this one first, followed by this one. We've already used this one. That's well, just bit. what Jack told me, I don't know. Mm. Apparently that's what you're meant to do. So you're meant to do a couple of pumps of this, and then put it through your hair. And then you're meant to do the other one, but apparently you've got to do it in this order, and I don't really get why. Can but I ask why you're putting told. damage treatment on extensions? Is that what it is? <laughs> I would just like to know, personally. Um... <laughs> That's I didn't realise it was damage treatment and this is breakage, <laughs> yeah. Well, the reason I actually do it is because I do actually put it the entire way through. Yeah. But I put it on my extensions because... Um, no, it is good because you can put it in your roots so it doesn't build up. And not even just that as well. It's good for your extensions because... Um, it's not some breaking. It, yeah. <laughs> well, not that. Oh my God, I can't. See, I can't get my words out. Why can't I get my words out? Okay, I'm taking a chill. <laughs> I'm taking a chill pill. The reason it's good, the reason it's good... It's Oh, thanks. The reason it's... I don't really like this stuff, though, because um, 
not this particular one, but when I wear heat protector, my hair just always goes so dry. But I feel like this stuff is really good for extensions because it makes it not go knotty. And everyone always asks me, how do I like keep my extensions not knotty or matted? I swear it's from putting this in my hair. But yeah, this is my favorite product ever, this root spray. Imogen's actually gonna blow dry my hair. So anyways, what I was actually saying, the reason, the purpose of this was because we're gonna get ready now to go out. We're getting ready a little bit earlier. We're going for dinner and then we think we're gonna go out tonight. Um, we're kind of just take as it comes, see how we feel. See how I feel happens. like we will end up going, going I feel out, like we to will, be fair. But because, but because I feel like in my head, I feel like we should. No, That's why. I think we're on, weirdly, I feel like we're on a high right now. Yeah, right now. So I'm waiting for it to come down. And I think that'll be a deal. <laughs> Yeah, so do you think we're no, going to end up going out? I want to. Well, I do want to. I, I think feel like because really Max and right stuff has just got here and like so many of my other friends have messaged me. We bought Sprinter, which we are so excited to try. So we're going to drink these whilst getting ready. The thing is, I can't imagine only peach tasting nice. Like, you think if she wants to drink it on every night out, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You think it would be good. Like, 8-1, I mean, I don't really like to keep that, but 8 one eight's good. You tried the best one first. Oh no. No. No, I do like it, but it, it, it's a white claw. It's okay, white but claw. I like white claw. No, it is nice. I just, I don't know why I was expecting something. I don't know, like I just wasn't expecting, like I never said soda, but I was expecting something sweeter. Right. So does it taste like soda water? It doesn't taste like a monster. It doesn't taste like lemonade. It tastes like soda water with right, okay. a flavor, like a uh, sparkling flavored thing. It doesn't taste like vodka, but it is, a, it's a white claw. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's sad. It's okay. It smells awful as well like actually smell that oh <laughs> you did it again you're doing it on purpose yeah, yeah. i was gonna get a blow dry at the salon but they didn't have any availability and at this point i think imogen's probably wishing that i did <laughs> have you <gasps> you didn't just wipe your snot in my hair <laughs> i didn't know any focus i said that she knows you're all good and then turn off because we need to go but oh my god my camera's gonna fall maybe it's also look like they're gonna fall out of the stress but I'm actually wearing Imogen stress right now. We're ready, we're going out. We thought we had loads of time. We did have loads of time and somehow the time has gone by. So we're going out for dinner, let's go. Okay, we're out for dinner. We are just at the bar. This restaurant is absolutely stunning. Like stunning, honestly, so excited. Like I'm so full, but I actually can't wait to get food here. Imogen was saying she really wants to get bored with pasta, which I feel like, although it's a thing in the UK, not many really places do it. Whereas in LA, I feel like you can get vodka pasta anywhere. Also, we just got some diet coke. What diet coke? Vodka diet coke. The bar. Oh, sorry, you're good. To be honest, guys, I don't really know what I'm gonna order for food. I could tell you, but I'm just happy to be here. I feel like I'm gonna get drunk tonight. I told us these drinks are strong as well. The bottom's up. Cheers. <laughs> Imogen just said she likes some chunky and funky and that is what she's eating right now. <laughs> what did you describe the shrimp as? Chunky. Yeah. Why do you keep saying funky? <laughs> like I'm funky. <laughs> oh my god, it's gone to my head. The drink has gone to my head like it actually has. I'm all tipsy. Imogen's got some shrimp. And then, what did you order for Maine? Uh, the vodka pasta. Oh my god, stop. No, don't wipe your makeup off. Wipe your makeup off. Everyone's YouTube. I'm not. What? <laughs> That's rude. I'm actually concerned about myself. I haven't drank in You're so concerned. long. You're <laughs> concerned. I'm concerned. So, because I haven't drank in so long, and that went down to I'm the one sat opposite you sober. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're sober because you're never sipping your drink. That's why the guy just said to us, he was like, come back, we're going to give you shots. But do you know what we're doing? We're getting shots. After this, we're on shots. I don't know if that's a good idea, actually. But it's a good idea because I've had one drink. He did say to me, though, he was like, it is strong. Let us know if you want more diet coke. I honestly reckon there was that much diet well, coke no, in the entire drink. He knew we were from London and then went, our double's a bit stronger than yours, so he thought, like, yeah. it's literally. Yeah, that's true. He probably did think that. I also do think he did be relating. Yeah, okay, so I ended up getting some Wagyu. I ended up just getting starters because I'm actually really full. Even from lunch, like I just had the biggest lunch. So I got the Wagyu and some broccoli and then Imogen got some vodka pasta. You do a little taste test? It's very spicy. Spicy? Did they say it was spicy? I oh, know, no? I think the majority of the vodka pasta tends to be quite spicy. Oh yeah, because do you remember I got mine taken off? Yeah. Nice? 
No, it's still really yummy. Right, I've ended up convincing Imogen to get a dessert to share. This is a butterscotch pudding. <gasps> Do you reckon it's like Angel Delight? Because butterscotch Angel Delight is my favourite thing ever. Do you reckon it is? The strawberry one's so much better. Then butterscotch. Mm. No, butterscotch is the best. Do you know what? I love Angel Delight. I haven't actually had it in Do years. You want to hear about my childhood? Go on then, Angel Delight, because that was mine. My childhood consists of me spending like summers with my grandparents. Yeah. And it was really good. It's unbelievable. Oh my god, it's unbelievable. Oh my god, it smells so much chocolate and it smells so good. Basically, my summers consisted of me being shipped off to Wales. And then basically, do you know what Blamonge is? So Blamonge is like a creamy jelly. So we'd make angel jelly, like we'd make an array of puddings. Like that was my childhood. So we'd Aww. make a angel jelly egg and strawberry. We then make a blancmange, and my grandma used to have these like bunny molds. So we make them into shape of bunnies, and she gave me a pack of raisins, and I got to decorate the bunnies with raisins. Oh, that's cute. My mum used to make um, Angel Delight like every day after yeah. school for dessert. So good. That was the only time I'd actually ever had butterscotch, but this tastes like a thicker, creamier version of Angel Delight. It's delicious. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,